what we really see is is how much the brain has shrunk. What is really different in this study is that we had mild participants who were not hospitalized. So they stayed at home. They were well enough, presumably, to stay at home. Maybe some of them were even asymptomatic. So we are not seeing this kind of gross pathology that you would see in the, all of these other brain imaging studies that have focused on hospitalized patients. We are looking at much more subtle kind of differences here. Very first thing is that greater, you know, uh, change in uh, the shrinkage of the brain, but also a greater cognitive decline. So what we um, see is really that um, there's a decline in uh, mental ability in being able to perform complex tasks in the participants who got infected. We were quite surprised to see some clear differences in how the brain had changed in the participants who had become infected with SARS-CoV-2. But what is important is also to bear in mind that the brain is plastic and can heal itself, whether it's because the symptoms are, you know, slightly lessened and getting better, or because, um, the immune reactions or new information is uh, also going away, or maybe the virus is getting cleared. Mm -hmm.